Hi Star Babies, hope you're all doing well. I know it has been a little bit. Um, I posted on YouTube a little paragraph, whatever. We have finally opened all three shows in the season um, in the theater that I work at. And so I was just taking some much needed chill time, self-care time because it's just so crazy being in rehearsal. We've been in rehearsal for the past like four months. So now I get to decompress. Um, so that is the reason why I've been a little absent. I've just been taking care of myself. Within that theme, I decided to bring you a video today that is all about my glow up favorites. The things I've been using this summer to make me feel special and gorgeous within, you know, such a crazy rehearsal schedule and just so little time to take care of myself. You know, makeup and body products can only go so far, but using the right products can really make you feel like you're having a glow up. So without further ado, let's get into my favorites. So we will start with skincare because, um, especially in the warmer climate I live right now, taking care of your skin is super, super important. It's just so dry and it took my skin quite some time to adjust to the climate. So now that I've adjusted and now that my skin is doing pretty well besides some very painful period breakouts, um, I wanted to share with you some of those skincare favorites. So the cleanser I've been loving is the Eminence Organic Skincare Sweet Red Rose Cleanser. This is a super, super creamy, softening, almost cleansing milk for normal combination and sensitive skin types. But I have dry skin and this works very well for me. It leaves my skin feeling moisturized um, but not sticky or not like it has a weird film on it but it still definitely moisturizes. And you can even remove eye makeup with this and it won't hurt you. Um, I obviously picked this because I love the scent of rose and having some kind of smell that makes me feel beautiful in something as simple as a face wash actually does wonders when you wake up in the morning or when you're getting ready for bed. Next uh, to exfoliate, which I actually used this morning, this is a mycodermabrasion scrub and this is not vegan because it has manuka honey but it is cruelty free and it's by Era, Era, Era Organics. Um, I found them on Amazon and this is what the scrub looks like. And um, it's actually made with walnut. I think those are the the abrasive pieces are actually walnut. So it's not salt or anything. It doesn't burn the skin whatsoever, and it's very gentle. I find this is just great for a physical exfoliant. If my fit, if my skin is looking kind of dry and there are a lot of flakes going on. This is gentle enough not to irritate my skin, but also to get off and to slough off that dry skin. And the Manuka Honey also moisturizes. So before you do any makeup that might cling to dry patches, this is something great to use. Exfoliation is so important. That brings me to my next product, which is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. And I have it in the original Shea. And it has shea butter and macadamia nut oil. This is from Ulta. And I have no idea why I have not used the tree nut products. This is vegan and cruelty free. And it's the perfect grittiness to exfoliate your skin. I love using this in the shower, especially on my legs before I shave. My knees get ashy so easily in this climate. So it's important for me to literally exfoliate every shower. And also my elbows and areas where I have eczema. Um, it's gritty enough to really, really get off all the dead skin if you rub hard enough and, you know, in the right motions. And, and it was super inexpensive and I just have no idea why I haven't used it before and why no one's talking about it, or maybe they are. I've never heard of it, um, but I am totally familiar with the texture. I think it's the scrub that they use on me at, like, the, um, the nail place when they do my pedicures and I'm always like, that feels so good and it's, I, I like my exfoliation pretty rough and this is just great and because it's made with sugar it doesn't sting your skin if you've just shaved or something it's not gonna sting um, in your pores so I love this so much after that for my ladies and gents who like to shave another tree hut product this is tree hut bear moisturizing shave oil for my skin it's it gets so easily irritated by shaving but I personally love to have very clean shaven legs and really well moisturized legs when I'm wearing shorts and things like that. Um, and if I don't use a shave cream or oil, I don't really get a clean shave for some reason. Um, and I, I nick myself a lot. This has really, really been a great help in making my legs so smooth. So after I use the exfoliation, I apply the shave oil and I shave my legs and no nicks, no problem. And it smells really good as well. So 
I am totally going to keep using this shave oil. I'm obsessed. After I get out of the shower to make sure that my skin is soaking up all of the moisture that it can, I use the Hemp's um, Goji Orange Lemonade Body Moisturizer, and this is limited edition. So if you want this, go out and get it at Ulta. I think it's a summer fragrance probably. <sighs> this is just so good. It's It smells like... It doesn't smell like fake lemonade or anything like that, and I'm usually not too much of a citrusy girl, but just summertime has got me in the mood, plus the packaging's really cute. Like the neon, I just was kind of sucked in, but it's lightweight enough that it doesn't clog my pores, but it definitely moisturizes, and it's just a tart, lovely fragrance. And I started using that because I was using Eucerin. I didn't want to because I know it's not the cleanest option, but when I got here, my skin was dragon scales. I kid you not. And I was just like, what am I going to do? My skin is like peeling off because of the dry climate. I've never really lived in the desert desert before. So I got Eucerin, like a super, super thick formula of Eucerin. And it was working well, you know, on my legs and stuff. And, um... This might be TMI, but I don't really care. I used it also, like, I use it all over. So I used it, like, on my butt and everything. And I got this, like, bump under my skin a couple weeks after using it. And um, I attempted to extract the substance within the bump. And what came out was literally eucerin. Like, lotion was just plugging up my pore. Like, it was not pimple it was literally lotion that came out of this bump under my skin I ugh. so I just don't think my skin can process that it's just too heavy and this is just perfect for me it's moisturizing enough but I know that it's not gonna clog my pores I also get clogged pores here so love the hemp's it's also very important to smell good when you want to feel good about yourself I was using the La Vanilla sport deodorant for a really long time and recently when I moved here I started to smell again like I started to be able to kind of smell myself and I was having like BO in rehearsals and it was just embarrassing because just because you use natural products you don't want people to think you have poor hygiene and I think it was I think my skin uh, and my body has just gotten used to the formula because I will never trash talk La Vanilla like I love their deodorant but I think I needed to switch to something else to shake it up because um, I had already gone through two tubes of the La Vanilla. So now I'm using the Underarmed Active Botanical Luxury Deodorant. This is unscented. It had wonderful reviews on Amazon, which is why I picked it up. And it's just, it's more like of a thick, waxy feel. And it comes in a traditional deodorant tube. It's cruelty-free, it's handmade, and this works so well. Literally a whole day of sweating my balls off in the desert and I don't smell. I, you definitely sweat, this is not an antiperspirant, but you will not smell, and I just gotta give it up to Underarmed. This is the real MVP. It's also important to keep your nails actually moisturized, your cuticles, and I love the NCLA treatment. This is a vitamin E infused cuticle oil, and I have it in Love Potion, which is rose um, scented. And it just smells so good, and it does such a good job of moisturizing your cuticles without being too oily and slipping and sliding all over your body and making your hands feel just dirty. I try to use it whenever I can. Um, if I'm putting on body moisturizer, I usually remember to put on my cuticle oil, and it's helping my nails grow back pretty strong because they, they've been damaged because um, I was getting my nails done, and the woman that was doing them has been using um, an electric, like, Dremel is that what it's called to remove my gel and also on my natural nail and I didn't know that was bad and it is bad and my nails are breaking so this is helping bring them back to life something super fun to switch up your look in an easy way and especially if you're out in the sun is the way son of a beach ombre spray and this is super cool if you if you can see I don't know if you can my hair has a lot more dimension to it it's not as black as it used to be and and sure it lightens up a little bit in the summer usually but not in this like pretty kind of highlight way this is something I would have paid a lot of money for I don't know if you can see it but I can and people are noticing and it's because of this this just is like sun in but it's not gonna make your hair look like crap and um, I just love way I love their products and 
this is great. I put it on every time I'm at the pool and I get these nice natural highlights. Another one of my summer glow up favorites is Tea Tree Oil Foot Spray. This is a newer product to me, but because I'm doing so much dancing and so much active work and I'm always wearing sneakers when I'm in rehearsal or I'm wearing the same character shoes without socks over and over again on stage, plus we have a show that we do in the water partially, my feet are just going through a lot. So knowing that I'm going to keep them like free of bacteria and smelling nice with the Tea Tree Foot Spray by Earth Therapeutics is very helpful and I love the smell of tea tree and it's super easy you just spray it on your feet um, whenever you feel like you need a refresh it's like deodorant for your feet and yeah I would highly recommend super affordable at Ulta and just who doesn't want to have good smelling feet it is also so important to keep your lips hydrated because in the summertime your lips can just get so crusty crust and it's just not cute so I am really obsessed with the Lanolips 101 ointment. This is cruelty free but not vegan because there's lanolin, but this is so wonderful. It's a multi-purpose balm, but I've just been using it on my lips, and I love that it's really thick and it's kind of shiny, so I can like use this in place of lip gloss. And it just makes your lips look really plump and healthy and it moisturizes them so well because my lips are just cracking all the time. They're peeling all the time. This is definitely like holy grail. This is amazing. A couple beauty products to share with you just because I have to. You know how much I love them. My new favorite foundation, I've been using it for about a month now, is the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Youth Cream Compact Foundation. I got this from Ulta. Because of all the stage makeup, I've been having to use the heavy, heavy application my skin was like back to its worst. It was doing so well in rehearsals because we weren't wearing any makeup and I was in the sun part of the time and my skin was just looking great. And then when we got into doing the shows and wearing heavy makeup for hours every night, I just was I just had so many little clogged pores and I was just like, "Really? <laughs> it's just cleared up." And it was totally my makeup and I made a decision I was like I need to clean up my act and clean up my makeup bag so I went for Juice Beauty mostly because those products are just super super clean anyway this usually has a brush here but I don't use it it comes in a compact and it's actually an air free makeup so you press this little button and it dispenses the makeup here so air never comes into contact with the actual product so the ingredients stay fresh and pure and um, they're not going to spoil as quickly this is a fantastic foundation my color is 14 sand it leaves your skin looking literally airbrushed I would say it's great for normal to dry skin if you have oily skin uh, this might be too like wet and slippery for you but for me it is perfect and if I powder it it stays on and looks beautiful on stage um, I'm just so pleased with this and with that I've been using the Juice Beauty uh, Phyto Pigments Perfecting Concealer in 14 Sand. This reminds me of a less oily version of the RMS um, Uncover Up which is kind of why I bought it because I loved the RMS Uncover Up but I just wanted to try something different. All I'm wearing on my face today as far as coverage is this concealer. This is in 14 Sand and it just does a really nice job of naturally covering I use it under my eyes as well if I'm not doing like a super highlighty look and it's wonderful and it's not breaking me out and I also love to use the Juice Beauty Last Looks Cream Blush in 6 Peony. I got this pink color because um, that's what they kind of like me to wear on stage in some of the shows rather than like something peachy or bronzy that I would normally do. I wear peachy bronzy makeup in Prince of Egypt, but the other two shows, they like me to do a traditional pink cheek, so that's what I do. And actually, why don't I put a little bit on, so you can see. It's very pigmented, so I'm using a light hand, and it just looks great, and it stays on all day, stays on through the shows. It's just so pretty. So loving that, I'm just, just loving Juice Beauty bottom line a little hack thing I wanted to show you is this uh, what is this called Fleather Flam feather flamingo this is basically you can find these in all different shapes and sizes but these are hair removers so it's basically mine that this is gross and I need to throw this one away but it's like a little razor and you can shave the little peach fuzz that you have if you have any on your chin or on your cheeks you can literally just shave the peach fuzz you can use it on your mustache 
I have to be frank with you guys because I'm just, I'm a dark haired girl and I have or had peach fuzz on my face. I've had laser on it before but it grows back a little bit after laser and um, I certainly have a mustache so this helps to remove that. So I got this one at um, the local beauty supply back in LA but I do know they have these at Ulta and basically any beauty supply they have these little shavers because everyone is like onto it now because I'm like let's talk about it okay we all have hair on our face let's help each other out. Two more products for the glow up the Diva Cup. I don't have it with me because, well, I have it with me, but it's, it's deep within me, literally, because um, I'm on a period. I've been using the Diva Cup since Christmas. Like, the first time I used it, I think, was on Christmas. So, eight months. Eight months with the Diva Cup. I have saved so much in buying feminine products. My bathroom is just I don't know, like throwing some of that stuff in the trash, it was just so much. The trash would fill up. It was so much waste. It just felt so unnecessary. So switching to the Diva Cup was amazing. I had about, um, I don't know, like two cycles of a learning curve, but I watched a video of a girl um, showing how she folds it before she inserts it, and it made a lot, it, it made a big difference because before it, it was leaking sometimes, and that's just something I am not comfortable worrying about. I like cannot be living in fear of leaking. It just, girl, no. So um, now the Diva Cup, it's like flawless. We have no issues. It, My period is way shorter when I use it and I'm saving the planet. So Diva Cup, glow up favorite. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm working with my body and I feel like I'm doing a favor for mother nature for not using all these cotton products. I'm not putting bleached cotton inside me and it's a real glow up moment for me. And my last glow up product, because natural glow, you know, y'all, yes, it comes from drinking water and eating well, which diet is a personal thing, so whatever makes you feel great, but sleep. Sleep is really, really important. Just feeling good for your brain to be operating properly, for your skin to look good, it just affects everything, and I love to sleep. So, something I love, which is kind of new to me, but I really love this, is the Earth Therapeutics Pillow Mist with valerian and lavender. I just love any kind of pillow mist. I always have. My mom used to spray her pillows with Moonlit Path from Bath & Body Works. So I just have a thing like, it's becoming a ritual for me to spray down my sheets and my pillow before I go to sleep and smell this. Ugh, and it's just cozy and calming and lovely. And this was from Ulta as well. It's super affordable. And I'm just obsessed with it, and I go to bed feeling so excited to be in my bed and so calm, and I wake up feeling amazing, and that's what we all want, right? And that's it. Those are just some of my favorite products and some of the things I use to feel like a glowing woman and like the best me that I possibly can be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you enjoy trying out some of these recommendations if you choose to do so, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Mwah. Bye, guys.